Welcome to Ask a Scientist. In this episode, we'll talk about the on-target rate, an important metric in target enrichment sequencing. There are several ways to calculate this metric, and today we will discuss two of them. The percentage of reads on target is the number of mapped non-duplicate reads overlapping a primary target region by at least one base, without any padding or buffering, which we will discuss later. The percentage of bases on target is the number of mapped bases over the target region, again without any padding or buffering. In this simplified example, there is a reference genome and a target region of interest, and some mapped sequencing reads that have been aligned to the reference genome. The green rectangle highlights the bases that are considered on target. The sequencing reads that fall within the target region are now blue. Some reads fall on the edge of the target region. These reads each have at least one base overlap with the target region, so these are considered on target reads even though some of the bases fall outside of the region. The orange reads contain no bases that overlap the target region and are considered off target reads. Thus, the greater number of reads that map to only the regions of interest, the higher the on target rate and the greater the efficiency of the target enrichment. Typical on target rates for NGS target enrichment range from 50 to 80 percent. Some analysis pipelines include padding or buffering around the target regions before calculating the on target rate. With the padded targeted regions, more reads and more bases are now considered on target, including some reads that contain no bases that overlap the primary target region. This results in an inflated on target rate and a higher reported efficiency of the target enrichment. There are many common sources of on target rate variation that can contribute to low on target rates individually or cumulatively. Listed here are ways to ensure quality on target rates. Poor probe design can stem from designing probes to the wrong genome build, using error prone probe synthesis methods, and designing probes to highly repetitive sequences. To mitigate this, ensure the use of high quality probes from trusted manufacturers and take time to ensure regions of interest are designed using the proper genome build. Bead carryover from on-bead HYBE setup protocols can negatively impact the hybridization reaction, so ensuring a clean elution during the on-bead HYBE setup is critical. The temperature of the hybridization and wash steps are critical to the success of target enrichment sequencing workflows. Therefore, ensure that the HYBE and wash steps are carried out at the correct temperatures. Finally, data analysis methods can also affect on-target rates. Much like designing probes to the correct genome build, aligning sequencing reads to the correct genome build is critical for maintaining on-target rates. Additionally, on-target rates can be improved by adding padded regions to the ends of target regions to ensure flanked on-target mapped reads are included. Thanks for watching Ask a Scientist. If you have any questions or ideas for future topics, we would love to hear from you.